Man, updates galore this week. You got Pokemon Go giving you friends and trading and shit, and now Instagram TV? Phew, it's finally time to intentionally make videos like this. Uh, uh, I know I'm nauseated by it too, but it's 2018 and we gotta do what the hip kids are doing on their mobile cellular devices and maybe become SoundCloud rappers, I don't know. But IGTV is here, and while the standalone app isn't available yet, I think it's important to be flexible and ready to produce content on new social media opportunities, especially ones where maybe there aren't a ton of people yet. But in this scenario, the video format is a little different than what we're used to. But fear not, I got your back. We'll go through these settings and in friggin' no time, you're gonna be killing it on IGTV. Now you could just simply take your native YouTube videos and bring them over to IGTV, but people would have to rotate their phone, which is no big deal. I mean, in, in my opinion, it's not a big deal. I would do it. But picture this, you have a user scrolling through a bunch of videos that are vertical, followed by that one horizontal. That user may rotate their phone to watch the content if they like you enough, or that user might say, eh, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Doesn't he or she know how this app works? It is a real scenario, unfortunately. People are also very lazy and rotating their phone. <sighs> too much work. You could create the world's most extreme letterbox to preserve your widescreen aspect ratio, but I think that would be silly. Or, I mean, some people on Reddit might say it's really cinematic. Anyway, instead of making people rotate their phones or doing extreme letterboxes, we're just gonna jump on the bandwagon and make some portrait video. Finally, an app for stupid people who don't know how to flip their phones while recording video. I'm just kidding, of course. The settings are insanely simple here. You know how your video's typical native aspect ratio is 16 by 9 straight out of your camera? Well, um flip that bitch so it's 9 by 16 boom horizontal video so when you're creating your sequence you'll just update it to 1080 by 1920 i know it's kind of bizarre to say it that way but you just match your desired frame rate and you're golden flipping your footage in premiere is super easy all you have to do is go to the rotate and play with it until it's on its side for this particular clip 90 degrees did the trick now also keep in mind here that you have to adjust your record window if it's set to 100 percent let's say or 50 percent you might actually be cutting off part of the video. Keep in mind in making this 9x16 we've effectively converted our video into a long boy. So I've taken the liberty of making 8 presets for you below, in case you're lazy and don't want to make new ones yourself. I made 9x16 presets for the common frame rates, 2398, 2997, 25 for you Europeans, and 5994 for people who love unconverted jittery 60 frames per second for some reason. These are all available in 1080 and 4K, if you're you know, if you're doing 4K. And if you're watching this on IGTV, all you have to do is come over to YouTube, look up Sweet Lou Photography, I'm sure you'll find me, and you'll be able to download the presets which are in the description of the video. Installing the presets is so simple. All you have to do is go to your Documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro, 12.0, your profile name, Settings, custom. Then just drop the files right in there. This could vary if you've changed any of your default installation locations. Now this one's a little bit more conceptual, but this isn't going to be as simple as taking your old native video, throwing it onto a new timeline, and re-exporting this. With this new format comes new ways to frame things. You'll have to manipulate your old footage to make this work out, or potentially reshoot it. But think outside the box here. You have a whole new playground of creativity. Take my presets or make your own. Of course, when you're out there filming, you could film normally and crop your way in. Especially if you have a camera that can do 4K, you have the real estate to edit in 1080p and recompose. Or you could just flip the camera. This feels wrong. Like, unholy. Is this what God wanted? But the bottom line, Instagram TV could blow up. Don't you want to be there first? Thanks for tuning in, lovelies, and go check out this video on my Instagram TV over at Sweet Lou Photography where it's there natively. Or, or you know, if you're on IGTV, then go over to YouTube and, and watch it there. And of course, so much love, Sweet Squad. Smash that subscribe and like, or tell me I'm an asshole in the comments. I don't care. I do. Immensely. But I just pretend, because I'm cool. Alright, bye. Of course when you're out of course when you're out there filming you could film normally and crop your way in. Now you could upload your Oh no. Now you could just simply take your YouTube video. Instead of rotating your phone or doing extreme letterboxing, we're just gonna jump on the band Why can't I say this? <laughs> but we're gonna jump on this bandwagon and instead instead of 
instead of rotating the phones or doing dumb letterboxes, we're just gonna jump on the bad wet. So in instead of instead of instead of rotating your phone or now I let's wait for this plane. I'll drink some coffee. Oh. I've had like fucking four cups of coffee this morning. I'm fucking freaking out, dude. It's great. It's great. Got some text messages to respond to as well. 